I don't suppose that they could get a bug in my motel room or your car this fast. But it never hurts to be careful. They'd have to get a court order first. Court order? To install a listening device. Oh, I'm not talking about that bright little bagel snapper from the district attorney's office. What does he call himself? Garfinkel. Garfinkel. He should change his name. You know something, Harold? I never uh -huh. thought I'd be willing to change places with a cow. A cow? Those things out there. They are cows, aren't they? I don't understand the thrust of your comment. <laughs> Now, take a look at them out there. I mean, they got it knocked. Now, what's, in the, what's the worst thing in the world that could possibly happen to them? A short circuit in the electric milker. <sighs> Compared to what I'm facing, that's child's play. Are you talking about the Las Vegas people? I'm in trouble, Harold. And it's my own damn fault. They're going to ask me, why did I pick this particular bank? And believe me, from where I'm sitting, it looks damn peculiar. Surely they don't suspect you. I'm on the list, Harold. And it's a very short list. You and I are the only ones who knew the money was going to be in the bank. Then they suspect me, too. Good God, Maynard, you don't think I had anything to do with it? Of course not. I am not an ambitious man. I don't need very much. I've been very happy here in Trace Crusades. I've become a part of the community. And people appreciate not just the day-to-day -day business of banking, but the way I've restored the bank. I've made it a part of the living historical heritage of the community. For the first time in my life, I found a place that I love. Why would I jeopardize that? I believe you, Harold. I only hope they do when the time comes. We might as well face it, they're going to ask questions. For instance, we've been keeping various sums of money in the bank from time to time. But the one time we really load up, bang, this little horseshit bank a million miles from nowhere gets hit by four professionals. Now they're going to think that's strange. Well, it's a coincidence. That's all just a coincidence. They do happen, you know? Yeah. But they're going to think it's odd that you made no effort to get the police. That you just trotted right over and opened the vault. There really wasn't anything else I could do. Oh, no? You could have fainted. I had a gun at my head, don't you understand? I understand perfectly. I am not a physically courageous man, Maynard. It's our Mafia friends who won't understand. They're going to... They're going to wonder why you led them directly to the vault with the money in it, instead of the empty vault in the rear. And frankly, how? why did you do that? Do you know what would have happened if I had taken those people to an empty vault? Number one, the money would have been saved. Number two, there'd be no question of an inside job. Inside job? That's the way the diseased minds work. A bank gets it, bang, they look for a double cross. Why couldn't it be just a coincidence? Because they don't believe in coincidence. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Take a look at the big brown one out there. Man, what a set of jugs. You need a rest, Harold. A long trip to someplace quiet. Another name, another country. I can't start my life over again now. You don't have much choice, Harold. They're going to try to make you tell where the money is. You know what kind of people they are. Strip you naked and go to work on you with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. Oh, my God. If you need money, Harold, 